एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर डूइंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉडकास्ट आज के पॉडकास्ट में वी आर गोइंग टू बी डाइविंग डीप इनटू द इंटरस्पेक्शन ऑफ एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशंस फाइनेंसिंग एंड इनोवेशन सो दिस पॉडकास्ट इज मेनली फॉर ऑल द फाइनेंशियल सॉल्यूशंस दैट द इंस्टीट्यूशंस माय नीड सो वी हैव मिस्टर नीरज शर्मा चीफ बिजनेस ऑफिसर of education institution loans at oxlo with us with over 27 years of experience in finance and strategy so with his incredible experience helped in funding more than 12000 schools so i guess this podcast would be very interesting so keep on watching so hi sir welcome yeah. to the podcast and yeah. education institution ki financing ke bare mein janne se pehle hum ye dekhte hain ki abhi current प्रॉब्लम्स जो एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन हैं वो क्या फेस करते हैं सो वट वुड बी द मेजर फाइनेंशियल चैलेंजेस दैट द करंट एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन आर फेसिंग शो थैंक फॉर हैविंग मी हेयर सिद्धि इट्स ग्रेट टू डिस्कस अबाउट पोटेंशियल ऑफ फाइनेंसिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन हेल्प टू ग्रो दीज इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड इम्प्रूव क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन इन दम I have visited uh, not only in Indian schools, but you know I had uh, opportunity to go abroad and uh, visit some African schools. And what I found is that the challenges faced across the world in these affordable private schools are same. Hmm. When uh, they need funding, so nobody uh, give them funding when they start a school. So greenfield projects are not given funded. Uh, when so what they do is they they will borrow from their friend family relatives and this is how they start and mm-hmm. uh, when they start uh, they'll start with a uh, few classrooms and uh, they would have challenge in terms of uh, hiring teachers uh, one two uh, then they would have to uh, convince the local parents that you know my school is good as compared to others and how i can help uh, your children grow when they uh, cross this hurdle then their cash flow because no not necessary that on the day one they will have many students so the cash flow becomes challenge for them mm-hmm. wherein they have to give salaries and meet uh, certain other expenses uh, pertaining to school once they cross this uh, threshold of break even uh, then they start facing problem because these kids they are growing to next uh, uh, classes Mm-hmm. and in those classes then they need additional classroom and this is when this organized lenders start coming in before that uh, money lenders are the major uh, source of uh, borrowing for these guys once they have this uh, threshold of minimum students once they have their break even of cash flow then they start getting funding from organized uh, uh, lenders okay. now after all these uh, you know what uh, crossing all these hurdles you know they would then have to face competition among the local schools so you know, there will hmm. be many schools in this uh, vicinity of this uh, school and then uh, this is a healthy competition though that uh, they'll start competing among each other and then the students so eventually their cash flow will improve if they have good uh, number of students okay. and uh, you know they so i would say as far as uh, uh, financial challenges are concerned uh, for these guys they will be constant and this is how they'll keep borrowing money hmm. uh, to grow the institutions okay so when they borrow money from traditional banks kai bari dikkat aa jati hai loan apne paas lene mein to uske regarding what you have to say see these uh, banks hmm. uh, are heavily regulated by any regulator uh, in the country uh, two banks are giving uh, loans at cheaper rates which means their risk taking capacity is less because they are hmm. earning less uh, income on that uh, they need perfect securities there are certain securities which they cannot accept hmm. also a fact that these banks are not only present across uh, which ah. is that you know sabhi jagah pe present nahi hai and uh, you know door to door service they are not able to give whereas if uh, if we compare this to nbfcs nbfcs reach to their doors and give services so mm-hmm. i would say as far as banks are concerned currently and i would say for some foreseeable future uh, they will lend only to better managed big schools okay so these smaller schools they'll always have challenges in terms of securing funds from uh, bigger schools mm-hmm. bigger uh, institutions lending institutions the so, traditional banking ke jo methods hai they are little old school i would say Right. When we come into the present 2024, obviously the education financing is uh, getting a lot more coverage, or I would say opportunities out there. Right. So, what would be some education financing opportunities that uh, you think would work out? See, one of the prohibitive uh, cost for any uh, lending institution is customer acquisition cost. 
uh, unlike uh, other uh, lending uh, you know category hmm. the schools are not uh, you know in a vicinity of each other you know very few schools you will find hmm. uh, in one square kilometer you will find hardly 10 12 schools which means the distances in the schools are very high uh, when it comes to going and asking them loans, we need feet on street, uh, mm -hmm. that feet on street cost. Second, the traveling cost. And three, uh, you know, we cannot be omnipresent again everywhere. Uh -huh. So one of the things which most of the financial institution, of course, we at Oxil are also working is how to acquire customer by spending less, which not only helps us, but also helps uh, the customer in terms of reducing the borrowing cost. Hmm. See, today when these guys are borrowing, they are uh, borrowing through middlemen, you know, the, normally we call them DSA, and hmm. they are paying some fees to them. Uh, these lending institutions are also paying fees to them. So what we are trying to uh, get here is that if we can ask these schools hmm. or colleges or financial institutions, this education institution to come to us through online means, which not only reduces our cost, then in terms will help them reduce the cost of borrowing. Okay. So this is one of the things which I think in uh, coming future would be the thing which will be looked at by all lending institutions. Okay. And to connect the future with our current, how would or how does Oxilo tend to empower the education institutions? See, we have identified a lot of segments as far as uh, loans are concerned, uh, hmm. be it uh, schools, colleges, uh, vocational colleges, coaching centers. So, what we are saying is that whatever is in the education eco space, hmm. we are willing to fund, we will be funding that. Okay. Of course, when a company grows or uh, picks any segment, you know, we uh, don't go on the day one or we don't open all the segments, we will open them gradually. Hmm. Uh, currently, we are uh, lending to schools, colleges, uh, vocational colleges also. We are looking at nursing, pharmacy colleges we have started looking at. Uh, in future, we will be looking at coaching centers. Uh, we will also be looking at uh, you know how to finance uh, education SMEs who are in terms connected with these schools. Uh, so, uh, from our side, and we also take care of their long-term financing uh, you know, requirement and short-term financing requirements. Most of the time, these schools may not have projects which are uh, long term in nature or you know requires a lot of amount hmm. but they would have some short term requirement and this goes for all whether it's a schools college vocational college etc so we are also providing them unsecured funding uh, hmm. which is up to 3 years uh, and uh, amount wise uh, you know we go as per school and college's uh, strength but we have in our uh, you know product uh, you know, categories, a lot of products which we can hmm. give to these guys according to their requirements. Okay. So we are innovating uh, as the time comes and we are flexible in our approach in terms of innovating more and hmm. helping them out, uh, the schools and colleges. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sir, so obviously, Oxilo ki products to humne dekh liye, but uh, institution loans jo hum provide karte hai, how are they different from others who are current in the state? See, I would say uh, at Oxilo, uh, our team which is working on this uh, you know, financing, hmm. we have relevant experience, which means we understand what a school needs, how they operate, what are their challenges, hmm. uh, you know, where they would face issues in terms of providing uh, documents or securities, the kind of securities which uh, lending institution would require. Uh, we customize all those things uh, and it's a school or college specific, uh, you know, we are very flexible in our approach. As a company, we believe in fair and transparent dealings, uh, mm. you know, what we say, what we write on the papers, exactly same cause the com customer has to pay. We don't charge a single rupee extra uh, from the customer, so customer can be rest assured that will not, uh, there will not be any hidden charges as far as uh, Auxilio is concerned. Mm. Uh, besides that, I would say uh, we give door-to-door -door services uh, to the institutions and uh, we are trying to reach, increase our reach. Uh, we will go in all the geographies, we are opening uh, various geographies hmm. where we will give uh, money to these guys for their growth. Other thing is that we also factor that you know there are certain schools which are small, there are certain schools which are big. So it's not that we are saying smaller schools will not give funding. So accordingly, we customize our product so that we can cater to smaller schools also. We can cater to big schools also and mm -hmm. colleges or institutions for that matter. 
So I would say as far as our approach is concerned, we are very flexible. Uh, we customize uh, product and customize loan. We give money to them looking at their what is their comfortable repayment capacity. You know, yeah. we don't want to over leverage the customer mm -hmm. where tomorrow he will have issues. Uh, we assess their cash flow thoroughly. Uh, we have our own uh, tools through which we assess uh, the customers and uh, through that, uh, you know, we try to differentiate. In future also, we are trying to differentiate or, or bring products where uh, not only loans, we will try to help them in other aspects of their school operations. Mm. So those products are under pipeline and hopefully in next uh, six to seven months, we'll be able to launch some of them. Okay. So Agar, let's say if I am an education institution and I'm looking out uh, for a loan to upgrade my facilities or whatever expansion I want to do. What are the first baby steps that I should look or should take? As a lender, uh, mm -hmm. I would say, uh, it's very important for a lender to gain confidence on the school or college or education institutions. A lender is a very scared, uh, I would say, person uh, where he's lending his money. So mm -hmm. obviously he would like to understand intention, capabilities uh, and the cash flow of the person whom he's lending. Mm -hmm. Now. The first thing I would say uh, to these uh, new borrowers would be that you be transparent when anybody is approaching you for a uh, loan. Uh, you have to provide your documentation, uh, whatever the this lending institution is asking. Hmm. Be transparent in answering the question which are posed to you uh, from the lending institutions. And you, you know, once you get the loan, you have to ensure that you are paying EMIs on time. Uh, a lender, if he get comfort in you, uh, he will be your long-term growth partner. So mm. it's very important for a borrower to give comfort to the lending institution uh, that you know, yes, I'm here to pay. Sometimes, yes, uh, you know, all of us we face problem. You know, one or two uh, things here and there doesn't really matter. But uh, eventually, uh, mm. intention is very important. Cap capacity sometimes can go here in the short term, yes, there could be some issues, but long term, uh, the, the borrowers have to ensure that he is paying on time to the lending institutions. Okay. So, the institution borrowers, hai, unke liye, I guess this technical point would be very important. Hmm. Added to that, I have also gotten to know, or obviously this is there in common observation, that kai bari these institutions are a little uh, scared ki, nahi, hum humare hi uh, jo funds hai, we'll use that and we'll grow, or maybe we don't want to take a loan to grow our own institution. So in regards to that, uh, kya financing solutions for education institutions, quality ko bhi improve karega? Sure. So the way we uh, schools or colleges or education institutions, the first thing which a parent see is building. Hmm. Now compare that you have a good school in your building and your building is not good. So obviously parents will decide that I have to admit my child to the school. Ke uh, ke liye. So it's very important uh, that you should have requisite infrastructure. Now hmm. if you are confident on your model or on your school, uh, borrowing is not a bad thing. By borrowing, you are cutting short the number of years which you will take to get to that level where your competitor or neighbor school is having hmm. that kind of building. So the way we tell to school is ki first thing is building. Second is agar building hai, to usme students jada aenge. Hmm. Students jada aenge, to aapka cash flow achcha hoga. Haan. Cash flow achcha hai, to you can attract talent hmm. of uh, teachers because teachers bhi jabhi aenge, jab unko pata hai, salary secured hai or ye achcha school hai ya nahi hai. Jab aapke paas achche teachers hai, to aapka jo uh, area hai, usme aapka reputation badega ki yahan pe school ko achcha education de rahe hai Usse again enrollment will go high. So, a circle hai, this may, uh, I would say, borrowing is very important, which is, hmm. it cut short your growth period. If you have a lot of money, you can get a lot of money on the stage. Mein jau, but if you have a borrowing, you can convert a lot of money on the stage. So, you can cut short that uh, growth period. It is uh, strongly achievable? It is achievable because, you know, if a good uh, building, I would say, it's. it's uh, it's required for any institutions 
and uh, most of the loan which we are giving is mm -hmm. for construction financing which okay. is that uh, they want to build additional classroom they want to build additional floors mm -hmm. uh, there is a space they have adjacent to their school they want to construct a new building or koi future matlab expansion ke liye some other area they are building uh, you know uh, another school so borrowing helps them to achieve their dreams today instead of them waiting on internal accruals and wait for say 2 3 years mm -hmm. so i would say yes it is very much achievable so borrowing i would say don't shy borrow according to your capacity which you can pay comfortably because um, over leveraging is also bad uh, because mm -hmm. that eventually you have to pay the money so you have to be very careful what kind of loan you are taking and uh, how much emi you are comfortable to pay so yeah. isme literacy ka part aa gaya if i am not wrong ki institutions should be financially literate for right. uh, you know to borrow money Correct. so iske liye would you recommend some things for the institutions see uh, uh, jo education institutions hai obviously you know they are taking money and most of the time i i i would say that i find that these uh, owners hmm. some of them are very smart some of them as far as financial jargons are concerned they are not well aware of those uh, hmm. jargons uh, it's important for them to understand ki what is irr how processing fees or other fees are affecting irr uh, ki kaun sa institution se lene mein kya fayda hai kya nuksan hai uh, hame 5 saal ka lena chahiye hame 10 saal ka lena chahiye all those calculation they should be well aware of hmm. uh ek aur cheez hai ki uh, you know most of the time you know what we find is financial discipline is lacking huh. in this education uh, institutions uh because they they don't have uh, organized borrowing or or departments where they are managing these uh, borrowings so unko lagta hai ki ek bounce ho gaya to kya ho gaya main aapko next next day de raha hu ya aapko 7 din mein de hi raha hu तो इससे जो लेंडर है ही गेट्स अनकंफर्टेबल बिकॉज उसको कोई ना कोई रिसोर्स लगाना पड़ेगा आपसे बात करने के लिए आपके इंस्टीट्यूशन में भेजने के लिए प्लस आपका जो ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड है वो भी खराब हो जाएगा बिकॉज जब आप दूसरा टॉप अप लोन लेने के लिए जाओगे या किसी और इंस्टीट्यूशन के पास लोन लेने के लिए जाओगे तो फर्स्ट थिंग जो मांगते हैं कि हमें पहले बताओ आपने पिछले लोन में कैसा बिहेव किया इससे आपका क्रेडिट स्कोर भी अफेक्ट होता है सो आई वुड से फॉर देम इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड कि मैं जो लोन ले रहा हूँ मेरा कॉस्टिंग कितना आ रहा है यू नो वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दीज गाइज डू इज दैट डू फ्रीक्वेंट बैलेंस ट्रांसफर और ये जो बैलेंस ट्रांसफर है इन माई ओपिनियन इज सजेस्टेड बाई सम मिडल मैन टू दम सो जो मिडल मैन है टू अर्न देयर इनकम ये इनके पास जाके बोलते हैं कि ठीक है आपका ये लोन 14 परसेंट पे है आपका नया लोन में साढ़े तेरह परसेंट पे करवा दूंगा बट स्कूल कॉलेज को ये देखना है कि अगर मैं साढ़े तेरह पे नया लोन ले रहा हूँ तो उस लोन को लेने के लिए मैं क्या कॉस्ट इनकर कर रहा हूँ जिस कंपनी से आप लोन बंद करोगे वो आपको फोरक्लोजर चार्जेस लगाएगी आप स्टैम्प ड्यूटी दोबारा भरोगे राइट देर आर लोड ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग फीस दोबारा पे करोगे सो so, आपको ये देखना है कि मेरा जो बैलेंस ट्रांसफर डिसीजन है इज दिस राइट डिसीजन और नॉट टू आई वुड एनकरेज बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज टूडे आर एनकरेजिंग लाइक वी आर एनकरेजिंग टू रीच डायरेक्टली टू दम इंस्टेड ऑफ थ्रू मिडल मैन बिकॉज मिडल मैन को लैंडिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन भी कंपनसेट uh, करती हैं और स्कूल से भी आई थिंक वो कुछ पैसा लेते हैं सो आई वुड एनकरेज दीज स्कूल टू कम स्ट्रेट टू लैंडिंग इंस्टीट्यूशन इन ऑक्जिलो Uh, what we are doing is we are giving a discount 25% discount on processing fees aur koi school college state hamare paas aata hai to hum uski processing fees mein 25% tak ka reduce kar dete hain okay isse hamara bhi help hota hai ki hamare ko bhi cost incur nahi karna pada school ka hai ye hai ki you know usko middleman ko nahi dena pad raha aur uski processing fees mein se bhi kam usko paisa dena pad raha hai correct so sir aapne jaisa bhi mention kiya ki Uh, schools or institutions could get 25% discount on the processing fee which right. is a very huge amount i right. consider right. so how does that work uske regarding if you could share something see what uh, we encourage uh, these uh, school and colleges is uh, one they can come to our website they hmm. can give their uh, you know loan requirement that uh, i need so and so amount two uh, why this discount because you know if we are incurring lesser cost on customer acquisition we will pass on that benefit to the customer this mm -hmm. is what our intention is isme hum 
कस्टमर को जो उनको डिटेल देना है आ, उसको डिटेल स्ट्रेट देना है हम किसी के थ्रू नहीं लेंगे इससे हमारा कॉस्ट कम होगा एंड हम वी आर ट्राइंग अभी डेवलप Uh, you know we are developing a software where we'll expose this software to customer where customer will come straight enter his details and then we assess our okay. software will assess their requirements and then we uh, fund uh, the customer in the meantime this offer is still open to those customers who want to avail this if they come straight to us hmm. you know they they can come to our website they can put their requirement or agar uh, उनको लोन देते हैं तो हमें 25 परसेंट डिस्काउंट उनको देंगे ऑन द प्रोसेसिंग फीस ओके सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सर फॉर शेयरिंग सच अ इंसाइटफुल कॉन्वर्जेशन एंड इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर अस एंड ऑब्वियसली दिस पॉडकास्ट हैज बीन क्वाइट इनलाइटिंग आई फील व्यूअर्स को भी ये पॉडकास्ट सुन के बहुत अच्छा लगेगा एंड फॉर द एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन आई गेस इट इज अ बेनिफिट एंड दे शुड लुक फॉर इट सो थैंक यू सो मच थैंक्स इट प्लेजर टू बी हेयर एंड होपफुली दिस विल बी इंसाइटफुल फॉर द कस्टमर्स एंड एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड देल्प एंड वी आर हेयर टू हेल्प ऑल दिज एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन उनको नॉट ओनली लोन्स अगर उनको किसी और चीज़ का भी अगर हेल्प चाहिए या क्वेश्चन है इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए वी आर हैप्पी टू हेल्प दम दे कैन रीच आउट टू अस थैंक यू सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो डो नॉट फर गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल सो डू फॉलो अस फॉर मोर कॉन्टेंट रिलेटेड टू एजुकेशन एंड फाइनेंसिंग